What is up guys, Fahan here and here I have with me a Gilera Runner ST200 before the Yamaha Aerox, the Yamaha NMAX and also the Honda ADV 150 we have this, the Gilera Runner ST200 the taxi bike of the 2010s touted as the most powerful class 2B automatic scooter the Galera Runner ST200 was probably the first bike of many riders who got their license at the time. It was so common that at one point, it dominated the Singapore streetscape. Uh, just a bit of background, this bike isn't exactly available in auto exchange. I rented it from a rental company in Carousel. Just gonna elaborate on this later on. Lah. So, um, take note that the Galera ST Runner 200 is a very old bike i think this is uh quite some time already fbe suffix uh. being an old bike exclusively uses a key so a lot of things on this bike is analog lah. so twist the ignition and uh, clutch clutch break in <laughs> ignition and uh you're good to go oh yeah so as i said this bike i rented it from a rental company but before the aerox before the adv 150 before the Edmax, there was this the gilera runner st200 and this was during the period where i got my license like maybe eight years ago which was like uh 2010s era like that for the automatic scooter uh 2b segment the gilera st200 dominated the Singaporean uh, motorbike landscape lah. So you everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, there's a Gilera. <laughs> but today in 2021, uh, the population has dwindled a lot, and you rarely see this on the roads right now. And which is why it took me a while to actually rent this bike lah. Uh, I actually wanted to ride this bike because it's a bike that I wanted to review for a long long time uh, because ZA actually rode the Gilera VSR 200 which is an older variation of the ST200 and during my class 2B days I did wanted to get a Gilera but eventually it didn't came into fruition uh, and then I went for a Honda CBF 150 instead lah, which is Hidayah lah. <laughs> so I have to say that for the handling of this bike uh, it takes some time for you to get used to I learned quickly that uh, you have really have to use your body to lean this bike as opposed to using your batok in which I usually use to um, corner with lah. this takes a while for me to get used to but uh, I have 2 days with the bike now and I think I'm doing pretty well so far uh, handling pretty tip top and comparing to most of the automatic scooters in this modern era which is the ADV the Aerox right the Gilera ST Runner 200 is freaking fast the acceleration who oh, really tops off most of the automatic scooters that I've ridden, you know, it's almost like whew, you can feel the instant top when you twist the throttle, eh? so it's really freaking fast. <laughs> Be careful there, don't need to go over the limit there. And when sitting posture wise, uh, I think it's quite comfortable, better than the Lambretta V200. Uh, there's a lot of room on the floorboards right here, you can move around your legs. As you can see here, my arms aren't really stretched out that much, but it's okay, comfortably sitting and I feel as if I'm sitting on a chair right now with his sitting posture and position. But once in a while, you have to like remember to uh, sit upright uh, because you, you tend to slouch when you ride uh, this sort of scooters, maybe because of the sitting ergonomics. Uh, but uh, for me, I'm pretty comfortable, way better than the Lambretta V200. And uh, for me, I'm 165 and I'm not sure what the seat height is. Uh, but I'm tiptoeing slightly on this bike but given this bike's weight which is like 162 kilograms or something uh, it's not that heavy it really compensates the sitting height lah, in which I am able to uh, like my feet are able to rest comfortably despite tiptoeing slightly lah. all right so negotiating a corner right here taking a left turn right here Brakes, rear and sport safe, left and right as with any other automatic scooter lah. When I rented this bike in the rental company, right, uh, this is what they have to offer uh, which is this well-used and abused uh, Gilera SC200 <laughs> It's definitely uh, aged quite some time and this really shows from the bike's current condition right now but hey, I'm just here to test out the bike's uh, performance and handling and tell you a bit of history of the ST200 lah so uh, I'm not going to dwell into the bike's condition so let's talk about performance comparing this to the most common automatic scooter out there which is the Aerox uh, this bike is very faster in my personal opinion it's way faster in acceleration 
Then the ADV 150, the Aerox At 90 km per hour, this Gilera wants to go faster But unfortunately I can't and I have to really uh, maintain the speed limit lah. So sadly yeah, I, we cannot test out the top speed But at 90 km per hour right You know when you're riding this bike uh, honestly speaking, it's so comfortable, it's so smooth that uh, you don't feel like you're going fast at all. That, um, you know, suddenly, yeah, when you look down the speedometer, eh, siya lah, 90 km per hour, siya. But you don't feel like you're going fast. You feel like normal like that. You feel like as if it's going 50. It, and it's so comfortable, you know. And the only time you know you're going fast is when you started to realize that you are like overtaking a lot of vehicles around you <laughs> so it's like okay i am going fast i have to slow down yes yeah, so it's really that uh comfortable of a ride guys but i have to take one issue with this bike which is uh, when i'm sitting down in when stopping or you know when idling uh this bike idles really quite bad uh, you can really feel the engine in, on your butt right now uh, but I'm not sure if this has got to do with the bike's age yeah, given this bike is quite old already in the market your butt really feels the engine vibrating on your seat lah. And if you are uh, on idling mode lah, and, and stopping at the stoplight but when you're going like this um, no issue, it's smooth like butter handling for this bike pretty good, corners pretty well I must say even though you're sitting upright and uh, sitting upright as you guys know, being a scooter, uh, there's no wind protection in front of you So it doesn't cut through the wind very well You can really feel the wind on your body um, So I think I think the Gilera ST Runner 200 has this accessory Whereby you are able to put a windshield in front of you So that uh, it cuts through the wind pretty well Then let's test it out a bit Oh my gosh Acceleration, pretty damn good for a Class 2B scooter Almost comparable to the X Max 250. Yeah. Yeah, awesome launch right there. Four. Zero to 60 in like what? <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> awesome, man. You know, I always make fun of Zah of liking Gileras and all that. <laughs> but now I realize why he loves Gilera so much because. It's a really awesome ride ah. It's really a nice bike to travel on And it does really well in a start-stop situation Given that, you know, it's an automatic scooter And you're just controlling the throttle So this is really a convincing conundrum lah I mean, people say this is motorcycle, sick bike, whatsoever But then again ah, you have to consider the Gilera population out there 10 years ago There's like really a lot of it on the road even our Singapore traffic police also use this bike but I think we are gonna clarify with Za on why it is uh, why it has this notorious reputation as a motorcycle lah. <laughs> so we got two big trucks right ahead of us we are gonna stay behind them as uh, I feel it's quite dangerous so um, start stop traffic a city riding situation no issue with the Gilera ST200 because I think uh, it performs really well in traffic in a stop start situation but let's try to get on the highway and see how she really performs uh. and you can see the the pickup or the acceleration pretty damn good on this bike uh. this is something that oh. and to be frank with you guys uh, I don't even think that I'm going that fast <laughs> it's very weird and the suspension is pretty damn good I must say it absorbs all of the minor bumps and the road markings and uh, road cracks and imperfections and all that but I think given this bike's age it does get shaky when the bumps are very very uh, deep uh. <laughs> but minor minor bumps little bumps you don't really feel them on the road right so expressway setting let's give it a bit of gas and the speedometer says I'm going 82 right now I don't feel like I'm going 82 I feel like I'm going as like as per normal you know so wow small enough to squeeze in between cars and traffic Whew. Wow, you don't really feel you're going that fast man but I'm at 92 now <laughs> I mean the engine is buttery smooth let me tell you this uh. it really outperforms the Aerox and the ADV 150 I think maybe this has to do with its displacement being 200cc and all not much technology on the Gilera ST200 there's no ABS uh, no nothing lah just standard uh, CVT 
which most automatic scooters are using now. The Galero Runner is produced in Italy by Galero's parent, Pagil, the same makers of Vespa and Aprilia. Since it was built in 1997, the Galero Runner has seen a few variations during its production run. This particular model which I rented is the ST200, the most recognizable and common one in Singapore. Engine is 198cc, single cylinder 4 stroke with a carburetor fuel system and an automatic speed variation system transmission. So this bike um, is actually designed by an Italian guy, Luciano Marabese. Hope that I pronounced it right. Huh? And the Galera Runner uh, is known for its radical styling at that time. And especially for this, uh, which debuted in uh, 2005, the second generation, which has a sharp angular outlook. And my personal opinion, this design is pretty timeless uh, and modern. You know, if you were to stack it up with uh, the Aerox or even the ADV150, people would think that this bike is uh, a 2020s era bike. It's still relevant with all the other automatic scooters currently being offered in the market today. So I have to comment about the dash. Uh, pretty simple dash, high beams, low beams here, uh, signal indicators here. Pretty easy to toggle with and feels good to the touch eh, when you are using the switch. Pretty bare bone, nothing much here. The gauge cluster, uh, pretty simple and straightforward. The tachometer is analog and the speedometer is digital. Shows the temperature of the bike, the fuel and total range. The orbiter which you can toggle, I mean the orbiter we can toggle. And uh, also the trip meter, adjustable and also the clock. And uh, this is all displayed in this tiny digital LCD screen right here. It's still kind of modern in, in those days, but today uh, most manufacturers have really evolved to uh, all digital kind of digital gauge cluster. Lah. But I find one thing irritating though. This ring around the tachometer, it has fake bolts carved into the cover design, in which I don't know why they do that. Lah. Have to comment about the storage space, you know, with the key, uh, pushing the ignition, and then you can access the underseat storage. And, <laughs> and I have to say that by modern standards, the underseat storage is pretty small. Eh? You can only fit one half-face helmet. Uh, you cannot even put an open-face helmet or a full-face helmet or that matter. Uh, pretty small underseat storage, I must say. In the early 2000s, when automatic scooters weren't that refined and still somewhat new technology, the earlier models of the Gilera Runner did suffer a bad reputation for being a motorcycle, which means sick bike in Malay. Especially the two-stroke models. Improvements were made to later four-stroke models. Alright, so we're gonna make an exit here. So it's pretty sad that the Gilera hasn't got much love in recent years. I mean, as I said before, uh, you don't really see this bike much on the road nowadays. Um, I think this is due to Gilera's reluctance to actually update the ST200. Because, oh my god, black smoke, gotta get away. I think this is due to Gilera's reluctance to really update this bike. I mean, it's still in production by the way. Eh? So even 2021 models still feature carburetor, in which uh, most bikes right now actually use fuel injection already. So I'm surprised. But I think if Aguilera were to update this bike, bring in modern features such as keyless technology and address all of the other issues and shortcomings of the previous models, of its uh, earlier models and really give it a good, awesome update LED lighting, full injection and maybe it's slightly modified the design a bit I think uh, it will still continue to be the best seller and maybe even outperform the Aerox and the uh, ADV 150. Uh, it's really sad lah for the ST200 that she didn't really get a lot of love uh, nowadays. Alright, let's enter Lorong Halus. Oh wow. Nice. See? You know, she taking it to the corner. Wow, she really... Uh, <laughs> she really takes the corners in very well. Oh, okay. So I think the suspension is quite old. That's why it's not absorbing all of those uh, huge bumps. Oh wow, we got a corner right here. Okay, you have to be careful uh, because really leans into the corner very well, I must say. And uh, yeah, a lot of harms here because <laughs> I think people I think they know, uh, LTA knows that people use this road to race or go fast. Being the most common automatic scooter in Singapore at the time, 
the Galera Runner is a popular first bike for many riders. Even our traffic police used it for their class to be riders at one point. Younger riders tend to mod their bikes as there's a wide range of aftermarket accessories available. This has led to some riders associating the Galera Runner with a rumpit reputation. Surprisingly, it is an uncommon bike in neighboring Malaysia, and Gilera is regarded as a premium bike across the causeway. So, Zah, I know your model is not this model, mm -hmm. it's not the ST200, uh -huh. it's actually the VXR200. Yes. So, maybe what's the difference uh, between this and the VXR? I know that's the predecessor, right? Uh huh. That's the predecessor. The VXR200 actually comes in two versions mm. the two stroke and the four stroke. Mm. The what I wrote is the four stroke. The one that many people say uh, Gilera Moto Sakit mm. that gives a lot of problem is the two stroke. Mm. Two stroke is the one got a lot of problem. Okay. But the four stroke is okay. I see. So you can uh. see the reputation carried on to the later models. Uh. Yes. <laughs> so and then over time, you know, because the Gilera is such a fun bike, mm. it's very fast, the acceleration mm. is uh, superb mm. for a uh, 2B scooter. People will tend to, you know, modify yeah, the it. internal mm. uh, components, you know, of the engine. Some people they got extra cash, you know, so they put a racing parts lah, mm. racing racing modification to the engine. Yeah. But a little did they, they realize that racing parts have very limited lifespan okay. because it's meant for racing. Mm. Uh, All right. Same like, like MotoGP, mm. you don't see they use the same tires, mm. the same uh, brake disc for the next race. Right? Mm. After this race, they change. Mm. Uh, so similarly, if you modify the engine, definitely over time there will be wear and tear mm. and then wear and tear will cause problem to the bike and then eventually people will label this a mm, so but, that's, mm. but I know of uh, Gilera riders who rode stock bike mm. and they have been riding for years mm. I have a friend who rode for five years mm. so the bike no problem no issue, eh? ah, no issue. Mm. but maybe because like you say there is a reputation mm. of it being a motorcycle but then that doesn't explain the his popularity on the road, you see, ah. at that time, uh, when he was popular, <laughs> at the height of his popularity, I mean, Gilera last time, I tell you guys, uh, before there was Aerox, it was Gilera <laughs> everywhere. Gilera, everywhere you go, you see this bike, you know, uh, which is why mm. I wanted to review this bike so much. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's a pity that the bike that you got mm. is really, really used, used, uh, <laughs> used, used and abused, you know. Yeah, but I have to say, riding this for three days now, oh, I've underestimated it. Uh, it's a performance, it's acceleration, it's uh, handling, uh, it's superb. Uh. Can. It's, superb. <laughs> it's better than, I have to say, uh, the performance is way better than the Aerox and the ADV 150. <laughs> wow, the acceleration, wow, whoa, it really goes, you know. It really goes, and then you don't realize uh, that you are at 90, you know. Even for an abuse <laughs> bike. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really surprised, guys. It's like, you ride so short. Uh. That's kali eh, Shal, 90 ready, <laughs> <laughs> That is how good this bike is, you know, in my mm. personal opinion. Uh. You know, mm. well, back when I was riding the VXR 200, right? Mm. Last time I used to sell satay in Newton, you know. Some of the cleaners over there, Malaysians. Mm. So, got this one guy, uh, eh, he asked me, uh, eh, Zah, can I try out your Gilera or not? Mm. Because in Malaysia, Gilera is super expensive. Seriously, <laughs> harga Yahudi. <laughs> Very expensive, you know. To, in Malaysia, if you own a Gilera, meaning you have money lah. He tried out my Gilera and then he, just for one round around the car park, he said, eh, show ah, your bike. Very nice ah. Now I know why Gilera is so expensive. Mm. And I have to talk about the Gilera's design. It's still somewhat relevant. It does show its age lah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can already see in the features and all that. And it's minuscule under seat storage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can just put one helmet on uh, it. One half face helmet, never a full helmet, guys. Mm -hmm. Just a half face helmet. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like, it just shows its age. And nowadays, scooters you see they are packed with electronics, mm -hmm. including killer yes, transponder. Yes. yes. You know, one particular problem inherent to this particular model of uh, Gilera mm. is water tends to leak into the fuel tank. Over time, they develop that fuel cap. Hmm. to prevent water from coming inside. Oh, which is this double fuel ah. cap right here. Yeah. You know, when I first got into motorcycles, it was because of you. Uh. Mm -hmm. I do like the Kilera la, actually, because of its design. Uh. But then you always hear this rumor going around where it's mm -hmm. motorcycle and whatsoever. But mm -hmm. now, I really take back my words la, and I wish I had, you know, a chance to actually own one, one <laughs> previously. <laughs> yeah, but in today's mm. market of bikes where there's a lot of other more advanced automatic scooters mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. the Gilera is, is really the size 
sign of the times lah. This bike especially I guess uh, overstate is welcome lah. <laughs> but it it's the the way it is designed, mm. it still looks relevant uh, lah. Re- relevant. Mm. I mean, if it is mm. given a new facelift ah, mm, mm. right, new colors, new mm. cover set, I tell mm. you, it's almost like a modern day current. Mm. Generation bike. Mm. You know, my only wish is that actually, guys, the ST200 is still production no? until mm-hmm. today. Yes. But I wish that it would update with modern features, lah, mm-hmm. such as the keyless transponder, maybe a larger other seat fuel tank, mm-hmm. other seat yeah. storage. Sorry, a digital gauge cluster, hundred uh, percent digital, lah. Overall, to mm. me. I have to say the Gilera is a very fun bike to ride. Uh, it's a fun bike. Very bi- fun. Mm. Ah. Mm. It's really a nice bike lah. It's, it's really nice bike now that I have tried it out lah. Seriously. <laughs> and thank you Zah for you know sharing your experience with the VXR 400. Mm-hmm. And then we just don't mind me asking what's the fuel consumption for the VXR? I also don't know. Sir. I also don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the VXR 200 I know it's a bit rounder than mm-hmm. this. Uh, but do you think they share the same components or parts? Uh, not really lah. I mean, if in terms of basic accessories like oh, levers uh. and the side mirrors and whatever mm. is available in the market, you can share. But specifically, like cover set, some of the engine components are also the same. Mm. So not really much difference. Some people actually modify the headset to become a naked bike, you know. <laughs> really? Uh, oh so my naked, god! You know, seriously, it's like. Just a, a handlebar with uh, some uh, <laughs> gauge. That, that's it. So I mean, I've seen personally, ah, uh, those days, Gilera owners they actually modify the outlook, ah, uh, until mm. macam what Sushi, you cannot uh. recognize anymore. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. But like like I said, lah, the era is really over. Mm-hmm. Now we have moved on to uh, a much more modern automatic scooter, uh, which is the ADV 150, the Aerox, mm-hmm. the NMAX. NMAX. <laughs> Uh, expect class 2A. Oh, okay, 2A. So yeah. I'm sure all of the people uh, who, you know, basically we grew up, uh, especially who got their license like maybe 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. 10 so, this will probably be their first bike. Uh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I hope it brings you guys some memories uh, about mm-hmm. those days uh, mm-hmm. where it was much more cheaper cheaper to own a bike. Uh, it was and also not so much I rate. Uh. Nowadays everybody got dash cam. Uh, so mm-hmm. if you make commit mistakes on road, uh, people will flame you. <laughs> Reason, and send you for and send it to us JRV. Those days, I don't think ah uh, people would. If you do something wrong ah, uh, ayah nothing one ah. Uh. Hmm. Cuma kena kot lah uh. <laughs> Finally, I have to commend that Italians really know how to design a bike. But you can't win the rider's heart just by design alone. And with that, I would expect to see less and less Gilera runners on the street. Closing a chapter and ending the Gilera's reign as the most popular automatic scooter in the country. Alright, so guys, uh, thank you so much. So forgive me for renting uh, this bike because Auto Exchange doesn't have this bike. I have mm-hmm. to rent this off with my own money. Mm-hmm. And glad that I actually had a chance to try out the Gilera ST200 lah. Like mm-hmm. finally lah. And yeah. thank you Zah for sharing your yeah. experience. And then Gilera mm. riders out there, we want to see your ride, you know. If you have a very nice ride, you know, still in uh, beautiful condition, beautiful eh? condition, right? Uh, get uh, get in touch with us, join yeah. us in our videos. Mm. You know, we will love to interview you and mm. your ride. Yeah, specifically for those of you guys who know your bike too well, lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and know about the ST Taurus history and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it for the vlog. Any riders want to review the bike us, do get in touch with us on our personal pages below. Uh, do like and share this video and with your riding kaki and don't forget to subscribe whatever comments that you have, uh, any feedback, suggestion, just put them in the comment section below. Do support us and our uh, awesome sponsor Liquid Moly. Uh, check out their uh, online, web, uh, online store for a whole range of uh, motor care products and use our promo code for further discounts. And yeah, that's it for the vlog and we will see you in the next one. Awesome.